we need to identify where the assets are and be willing to invest in those. So for example, Massachusetts made a very deliberate choice to say, we're gonna focus on biotech. They started investing in it intentionally, and now Massachusetts is looking back to see where other states and other jurisdictions are. That did not happen by accident. They made a choice when it comes to biopharma, when it comes to biotech, when it comes to life sciences. These are elements and areas that we have a specific competitive advantage in if we choose to invest deliberately. I think Maryland is a great place to be an entrepreneur, in part because it's a good place to start a business, but also because it's a great place for people to live. I also want to commend the governor for some of the things that have already been started in the administration. I think the innovation infrastructure built is very important. I think your focus on STEM education support, also very important. So all of these are pieces of the puzzle. I love the idea of coming up with an overall strategy that we could work on together to really think collectively and broadly about what would be beneficial for the industry within Maryland. And I know you've got a lot of enthusiastic people here in the room who would be delighted to help to contribute to that. One of the joys of this role is you get a chance to be around people who inspire you every single day. You get a chance to see that we have real work to do, but you also get a chance to be around the people who are willing to do the work.